They tell me when. This is Total Nonstop Impact. This is the throwback show on the TNI Network, and this is NWA TNA number 21. Kick it off, J-Bone. Let's get this thing started. This is Taya La Huera Loca, and you are listening to Total Nonstop Impact. The Walking Weapon, Josh Alexander, and you're listening to Total Nonstop Impact. We are the, the Rascals. Rascals, and you are listening to Total Nonstop Impact Podcast, baby. Woo! And what you're really listening to is Total Nonstop Impact. Don't you dare miss a lesson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Make some noise! Welcome, everyone, to Total Nonstop Impact, Impact Talk for Impact fans, throwback edition. This is Trey along with my two co-hosts, J-Bone and Kyle. Gentlemen, what's happening? J-Bone, let's start with you. Oh, I almost had it, Kyle. I almost had the point there. What's... <laughs> Look at it. There it is. There it is. Natural. My where, Disco Inferno here. Where are, you, where are you poking me here? Where are you, where are you doing? I'm doing a Disco Inferno dance. All right. Just... <laughs> what's happening that funky music brown boy yes yes dude my dad was a disco duck i got photos i saw the- a picture of trent's father with an afro and it was oh. one of the most glorious things i've ever seen beautiful beautiful okay but did you have the record disco duck back in the day i'm sure my dad did my dad has a lot of disco records in his collection still to this I day have, i have it somewhere, somewhere around <laughs> here i have it Gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Good? J-Mo, We're Kyle, good, man. We're good. We're Kyle good. Is, is, is bundled up. I, that's my gimmick. I've been doing the same bandana Well, well you know what, Trent? This is for uh, legalities and also uh, safety reasons. Ah. Right now in New York, because of COVID-19, you're not allowed to go out in public without a mask on. Don't even I'm open your freaking home. windows. I I'd protect myself from the listeners, yeah. you guys. You got to be careful. Got to be yeah. careful. Be very careful. You've already done. You've already dealt with it once. Yeah, be careful. Hey, man. I, I'm spreading. <laughs> you can't do not spread. All right. How's everybody doing today? Look, the, all the comments are 420 related. And this is ridiculous. J Bone, they want the lollipops. There they are. Kyle, they the other things. I guess the uh, the, the other indul- stuff. The, the other thing. Pepsi. That's what he's yeah. indulging in, guys. I got a cup of decaf coffee because I'm so rebellious today. Speaking of rebellion, don't forget, guys. Trent, you know, I feel like the 420 thing is for like the the younger the rascals, rascals, you know. Yeah, yeah well, true. them too, you know. But the rascals are kids at heart, you know. They're a fun, loving, lighthearted bunch. That's true, guys. Speaking of rebellious, to remember the rebellion uh, prediction show is up on all the channels. Give that a watch. And tomorrow night, we're going to be co-streaming on Twitch. If all if all works well, and going on right after to do a rebellion night one uh, breakdown. So don't forget to join us tomorrow night for that. But uh, we are here, guys, to talk about NWA TNA number 21. Over five months of throwback shows going on. It's been nice to rewatch. Kyle, I really want you to go back and rewatch. What did you start at? 17 with us? Just I about. Want, I want you to go back and watch. Seven, I want 17 times three. Looking at what do we got? Three, two, 50 hours of programming you need to go catch up on. Episode number 21. Yeah. Uh, the show is now old enough to drink in New York. Yes, this is the twenty. This this show is old enough in in the nation, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, this was an action packed episode. Nashville Fairgrounds, Nashville, Tennessee, the old TNA Asylum. Good stuff, guys. Well, let's start off here, Jay. But we got any news? Anything you want to report? But well, tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow's Rebellion Night One. Don't give it away too much today. What do we got today, though? Um. Yeah, I got something. I was just talking to someone right before the show. As a matter of fact, and give it uh, away. Someone wanted to wanted me to share this with uh with our audience. So I'm gonna do a little share screen. Some of you might have seen this on Twitter, but this is over on Facebook. So I know not everybody is on every format. So, but nonetheless, uh, this more more details on this one. I think we're okay. doing advertisements now. It better be impact oh, related. You, you, you better. You, you, you just J-Bone? wait. You just taking wait. money under the table, J Bone. Just wait. Just wait. All right. So look at uh, that. You, if you guys, oh, you guys might have seen this over on the Twitter box. I believe Scott Demore shared this. 
This is an event going through uh, prep. I could try to say this 10 times really fast. Preppy Pirate Outfitters and Back Porch Sippin. Okay. They're, they're hosting. Was that? Sizzippin. Sizz like yes. The, the yeah, exactly. Yeah, Sizzippin. Uh, this is uh, April 24th, the uh, oh, the day before my birthday. Ooh, uh, day so, before my birthday is coming up? Okay. So, this so this Friday at, uh, let's see, 7 to 9 Eastern Time, uh, four days from now, they're hosting on the website, preppypirateoutfitters.com. It's also going to be on the Facebook and also on the Facebook of the – Back porch sipping. I, I got to look and see exactly what all this is, but it's a trivia event hosted by these guys, and Johnny Swinger is going to be there too online doing trivia. And um, well, I don't know cool. exactly what uh, all three of us are going to be doing, but we're going to try to be there. Um, not there, but you know, watching. You know, hosting. Maybe we'll do a a subcast and like, you know, talk to people while we're doing or something. Maybe I don't know. What we're I want to play trivia, J bone. Oh, we're going to, we got to go. We got to so, be there. So we're going to, so we're going to play some, so we're going to play some trivia and, um, you guys swing. And I talked to, um, yes, the, we do. the, the gentleman who is, uh, helping hosting this. He's, uh, uh, his name is Chris. He's going to come on the show. Tomorrow night, again, you know, just in case anybody misses this, because I know not everybody is, you know, a fan oh, of the man. throwback we got show. Another jam okay. back. We got another jam-packed show tomorrow, because I got my buddy TDM from DiscussPW.com coming on tomorrow. Oh, so wow. Just like, just like last week, we're having another full house. I it's like pay-per-view it. yeah. season. Come well, on. it's Getting wild. I told Chris just to come on for a little bit. He can plug the event, you know, because I said, like I said, I know not everybody listens to this. And then, uh, well, there is a chance, there is a chance, that, uh, a chizance that we might have a, a swizzinger on tomorrow night. All right. I hope that happens. That's so we're, it's, it's nothing guaranteed. It's, I know this is kind of last minute planning, but, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to pull this together. It's okay. a possibility, but either way, Chris will be on tomorrow night to plug for those who don't watch tonight. So beautiful. Johnny beautiful. Swinger doesn't know how to use the internet. Let's get real. Uh, do you guys ever see the way he posts? Um, the way he posts uh, uh, his Instagram stuff. They're all like screenshots. It's and you can great. you can see the frame of like the the whole phone, like the phone battery and everything. <laughs> is guy doesn't know what he's doing. Fucking oh. <laughs> idiot. He's got a Twitter account that they never tag. In like the post, but it's like there. It's just link. It's been it hasn't been used in like ten years, but it's like online. It's really weird. I got a butterscotch, guys. This is a special night. There must. This is like a piece of. This is like a piece of good luck. What Have is you that seen like the, the date today? The hidden gem. I love butterscotch. <clears throat> or as my dad says, scutterbotch. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to tell tell you guys about this event. I'm gonna post this on our Facebook page as well. Yeah, I'll plug that. We'll get I'll, it all I'll share. Up. I'll share it on there after the show. But um, uh, but yeah, yeah. Watch for that. Uh, we'll we'll post everything after the show. We'll share it on the um, TNI page. We'll share it on there our individual ones. Beautiful. And um, yeah. So so we'll have some fun and uh, cool. And it's all for a it's all for a a, a good cause. They're, all right, beautiful. Um, that's going to be Friday, right? The 24th? Yeah. So, oh, here's the details. I'm sorry. I didn't scroll down. It says Friday, April 20th. For those who can't read this on the screen, Friday, April 24th, 7. You can't zoom in there, J-Bone? We don't have a, a zoom in feature? Uh, I can do this. There you go. Do that. There you go, J-Bone. Uh, how's that? That's there good. Go. That's good. Bring that, that up. You learn better? something new every day. There you go. There yeah. you go for my you know old blind ass. All right. It says, so when free Swiss egg... Uh, prize, uh, prize, prizes. I'm just gonna say it normal. Prizes, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> preppy pirate. Uh, also watch uh, back porch <laughs> sipping and preppy pirate outfitters Facebook pages. Preppy pirate outfitters are big impact fans and big supporters of swing time. We gotta love swing time, baby. Cue, cue the uh, sound bite. No, no, I, no, I don't bring sound bites. No sound bites on the throwback show. show. He respects you know the that. he respects the the legacy. I'm not breaking that. Okay, but it's swing. Yeah, but he hasn't appeared on NWA. I didn't TNA bring yet. the bite board out. I don't bring that. 
it's not okay, here. Okay, well, I'll Gone. say it out loud. You guys swing? Okay, there. That's you guys what swing? Like. Yeah. We do swing. Yes, we do. Oh, I only bust the bites out on yeah, the Daddy. Tuesday reviews, J-Bones. Things got to so be sacred. Says, says, watch and play along this Friday night. It's free. Tell your friends. Trivia stories. Q&A with the viewers. There you go. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited about this. This is going to be a good time, guys. So let's uh, let's all join it. Everybody spread the word. Hang out with the swing man. It's going to be cool. Everybody's looking for something to do. You know, we got swing nothing to do and right chill. Now. We are going to swing, swing and chill. And chill. All right. Well, let's kick this off, guys. We are at November 13th, 2002. This was the Veterans Day episode, it looked like. Uh, they opened up NWTNA number 21 with Goldilocks singing the national anthem. She's a, got a beautiful voice. She's still in a band, in the Goldilocks band. And she can she can go. She still has a good voice. Still does. Still does. Remember, guys, if you like Goldilocks, if you're watching all these with us, if you like Goldilocks. She she has a podcast now. It's called Goldie's Closet. It's on the on the uh, Russo network, and hers is free. It's not behind the paywall. So if you like Goldilocks, bro, you can, bro, you could still get her, uh, her content for free. So check that out. Uh, open it up now. We open up here with Mike Tanay at the table. He says, Mr. Wrestling 3 has not signed the open contract. He's like, I'm shocked. I really expected Mr. Wrestling 3 to come here and sign this open contract. And we don't know who this is. We still have no idea who this is. Some people in the chat might. I'm starting to remember now, Kyle. I, it's coming back to me. Like Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me now. But uh, I, I can't I can't reveal it. I think I know who it is exactly. I, I remember a very, very important song. moment. You know what? I had no idea, and I'm still going to pretend that I have no idea. But when I was fishing out this episode, I saw the thumbnail. I see, yeah, yeah, it was there. It was now do you see thumbnail. what I'm talking about? You see some, you see thumbnails for other episodes yeah. while you're on. Do you it see what it. I'm saying now? It does. Ruin this a is that bit. one like example, though. You know. Yeah, but then again, the I, from yes, I remember yeah, correctly. But- if I remember correctly, it's going to work out. It actually is pretty cool for a reveal. But anyway, no no Bro. contract sign. We get interrupted, though. AJ Styles and Plumtree come out unannounced. Hot crowd. They're booing. J-Bone, how bad are they booing AJ Styles here? Unbelievable how bad they're booing. This him. crowd is hot. All right, hot so crowd. No, 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 no. They're not booing AJ. They're booing Mortimer Plumtree. That's a good point. Get it right. That's a good this point. is true. There are a lot of AJ Styles fans that I love this. You, you get get his beeper number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know thing, what a beeper is. One thing, the beeper. I think they were already out of fashion when you were born. Um, one thing I gotta say, they Tanae mentions during this entrance that all the proceeds of the gate that night were being donated to the local Tennessee tornado relief fund. Yeah, they had, they, they had some storms roll through earlier, which might have been why the crowd wasn't like super booming. It looked it looked a little empty in the back there. I didn't think. I thought this was a packed house. What do you? Th- they were even in the rat in the cat in the um uh, up top too. Like, like, they like to, uh, maybe no one wanted to sit next to you know uh, what's that guy's name? Ch- Ch- TNA Chad. Maybe TNA Chad. Yeah. Was. Well, I think yeah. TNA Chad. Maybe, maybe he's you know. Maybe he you know had some bo. Smelled like you know. I nasty hot you guys notice the appearances of Alf and yes. Alf signs in this episode? There there's is an, an Alf, Alf doll in there, and there's also I forget who. Maybe Jared fears Alf. Somebody fears Alf. A lot of Alf going on. I don't yeah. know why. I don't know. Says, what the, says Hogan. Hogan fears Alf. Correct. I, I and then the, the guy had an Alf doll in other parts of the episode. I and saw I, the Alf doll for sure. And behind Alf's that was the giant. Alf eats cats. Alf would eat my cat. <laughs> the giant Althena sign. I saw him. What's up the, with that giant Althena sign? They're still the, asking for Althena. She hasn't been around since episode what? She, two, she's three? ringside. She's the ring girl. She's always there. She's always at the ringside. She's she's at ringside. All every show that girl at ringside taking all the gear back. That's Athena. That's why there, there's a sign going stop wasting Athena. That's why she's always there. Oh, for crying out loud! I didn't know. It's like I see a brunette like in the corner with the fans. That's her. But... That's Athena. That's her. No, there Bru- you go. Althena's blonde. There's like a Athena. couple of girls at ringside. The one, the brunette is the is the Athena they're talking about. She was a local girl in, in Tennessee. Oh, and she was like the ring girl. Yeah. She wrestled, but they only use her for they use her like once, and then she gets in later on. So. Uh, so- who is the girl that was taking the money the first couple episodes? Taking the money was uh That was a blonde. Her name was Athena. No, no, it wasn't or Athena. Something. Wasn't it? 
No, it wasn't Athena. It wasn't Athena. We'll look. We'll... Samsonite. I was so close. Samsonite. <laughs> that wasn't Athena, Jay. That was um. That was the former Ryan Shamrock. That was her. That was the girl who played Ryan Shamrock pr- previously. I don't remember her name that they were using here though. But that was the girl that that was the former Ryan Shamrock. She was taking the money from everybody and JB. You know they were alluding to them paying her for sexual favors and all that. That was the former Ryan Shamrock. I haven't had my dose today. Pardon. All right, get that in. I'm going to go with segment one, segment one over here. Pardon, uh, AJ, my, uh, par- pardon my senile moment. AJ, so AJ go, looks over at Mike Tanay and calls him sugar tits at one point in this sugar segment here. Sugar tits. Sugar tits Tanay over here. He's like, sugar tits Tanay. That's what I call <laughs> J-Bone. Sugar tits. <laughs> um, he says, Jerry and Cash ain't going to happen tonight. No. And Jerry comes out and says, no, no, no. He calls Mortimer a nerd, and he says, no, you know what? How about this, AJ? You think you're tough shit? I got the title match tonight make, made into a three-way. So you can get your match out of the way, me versus you versus Cash. X title on the line. So Jerry was out there with that with that better music. It's so much more fitting. Uh, it's so much more fitting to uh, Alicia Webb. Alicia Webb. That's that's the girl. Thank you, yeah, Dead Punk. I was close. Not at all, Jerry Boy. Just, just, just have your lollipop. Have your lollipop, will you? Just enjoy the night. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like how um, Jerry Lynn calls Mortimer Mr. Nerd. Mr. Nerd. It, Mr. It's, such Nerd. A, it's such a Jerry thing to do. He's so nice. And Mr. Nerd. Oh, yeah. M- Mr. <laughs> like, Nerd. He's so nice. Jerry Lynn is very nice. He's just nice. Um, so we set that up for the main event later tonight. We uh, also we go called to- Kid Cash a whiny-ass biatch. Called that one, yes. too. He really did say oh, biatch, biatch, too. Whiny ass biatch with the A. How, biatch was, was how, very South, in. how South Park of him. <laughs> biatch. It was so in in like the late 90s to this time. Uh, all right, guys. Opening match. We got a debuting Easy Money taking on Tony Mamaluk. This is like an ECW match. If you guys remember, Easy Money was an ECW towards the end. And uh, he actually did go to WCW as Jason Jett like last like three to six months. Uh Good. It was a good match. It was, I mean, it got it got easy money over. I forgot how big he was. He's huge. Easy money. I didn't know yeah. about easy money. And yeah. Somebody I grew up with in our backyard wrestling promotion called himself easy money for years. And I, I yeah. thought he came up with the name. And now mm-hmm. I'm finding out that he stole it. I haven't talked to him in about 14 years, but I'm about to call him and be like, hey, pal, you I figured it. it out. He stole You're a thief. it. I am trying to remember. Easy Money used to team with Confederate Chris Hamrick, aka Confederate Currency Chris Hamrick, and I can't remember their tag team name. It was like money related, but it was like the two of them were just like these wacky high flyer dudes, like little taller, little lankier guys. But God, who? What was their name of their um their tag team? I can't remember. But anyway, Easy Money is a pretty big guy. And can we get a shout out for Tony Mamluk? This guy, this guy, uh. Puts everybody over. Like he makes everybody look good. The bumps that this guy takes, Kyle. I know you particularly like that. Uh, that flip over clothesline he did, right? Beautiful. There was something beautiful about it because he flips in and then he still kind of springs forward and just catches him with the clothesline. It was yeah. poetry in motion. It was beautiful. I do like the finishing moves. Name the the Cha Ching. He hits him with the Cha Ching, and ah. he uh, gets easy money. Gets the win with the Cha Ching. Cha Ching. So Judging. Uh we we we're going pretty um we're going pretty quick back to back to back match wise. So we go right into Chris Vaughn, local guy, clearly taking on Sunny Siaki, gets decimated. It, it was a death. Now, Kyle, you're not a Sunny Siaki guy. You were not sold on this guy yet. Not right? sold you, on him. To me, he's not just at all. a cheesy rock ripoff at this point. Oh, but he's new to me. Point, and, and, and you know what? I gotta give it to you. Like, we've been watching him. Like, you see the build of Sunny Siaki, but I I see where you're coming from if if anybody just ju- jumped in, that is what he looks like. Like you're, you guys are trying way too hard to go with the rock thing here. I get it, but he does grow. He does grow. But I, I can I see what you're saying though. Uh, but he's got a good look. I also, don't know where Simone, he goes from here, so I'll give him a chance. But right now, you're not sold on him yet. All right, all right. No worries, no worries. He decimated this Chris Vaughn oh, guy, Mario. local guy. Uh, Chris Vaughn. Everybody grew up to be Roman Reigns. Just I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, it's always great to see a jobber. Like Sean early Wheat is really celebrating 420. Who is Sean? Wait, 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 yeah, Sean he, Wheat. He, he, yeah, Sean. Oh, he, man. He, he I is. want Cody Rhodes to come in. But, geez, what's going on there, Sean Wheat? That is a that is 
It's a very random thing. This <laughs> this was up here earlier. You know, you see me ignored, but you just put it back up. You put anyway, it back you up know? there, huh? Leave, leave the guy Jay alone. Bone, you know? Leave the guy alone, J Bone. Have your lollipops. We all know what you're doing. What those lollipops were dipped in. Leave the kid alone. Put another comment up. For God's sake, hot yeah, commodity. That was attack. Hey, Bone, you know I'm in recovery. Put that comment, you know. I'm in rehab, J Bone. Why, why are you hot, tempting me? Hot commodity, guys. That was hey, attack. You know, I, I'm just, you know, I'm a man of the people. I, you know, they, they're asking questions. I, you know, man keep of the, the people. Keep these comments going. Yeah, it was easy money. Thank you, Dead Punk Age. Easy Money, Chris Hamrick, and Julio De Niro, who does show up in TNA later on, too. Julio De Niro does come over here, too. And they were hot commodity. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. That definitely shakes up uh, some memories. Hot commodity. They were actually a pretty good little team, dude. They were a pretty good little team. All right. We go from that right to Goldie Locks and, and uh, Brian Lawler. And this is great. This, this segment was fantastic. Uh, she goes, you guys, if you and April have kissed and made up, you've been okay. You guys are... Uh, you guys are getting better. He's like, oh, we've done more than kiss and make up goalie, <laughs> you know. And then you start, you start hearing this moaning. J-Bone, this, this, did you get excited hearing this? There was a little moaning going on. There was some, uh, it was explicit. It's some explicit moaning happening in the I locker had to, room. Uh, I had to turn up my hearing aid. I got excited, yeah. yeah. He runs into the locker room, and he sees <laughs> he sees her April showering. And he's like, what the hell's going on? Here? What, what the hell's happening? What is this? And he, she's like, no, nothing. Get out of here. She's freaking out. She's naked. Now, they blurred it out. But I remember when this first aired, that was not blurred out. That was uncensored. Soapy boobs. Uncensored at the time. 100%. Mail demo. Mail demo. That mail trashy demo. 2002, just oh, reality man. TV, just totally. garbage television. That's what this is. Here is the best part, though. He's. She's like, get out of here. Get out of here. She kicks him. I goes, who's behind that curtain? She goes, nobody, nobody. Get out. And who peeks him out from behind the curtain, Jay Bone? One of your favorite guys. Brucey! Brucey. <laughs> Brucey. Brucey behind the curtain and putting the, the Brucey to April. Now, that his, was great. His fa- and, and if you blinked, you missed it. I had to go back. because I, I rebounded was, twice. I was like, who I was, is that? I was doing something, and all of a sudden, I was like, yeah. wait, what happened? Okay, I know they blurred it out, but I watched it again, and all of a sudden, I was like, there's a face. Yeah. It was so blue, I went blue, back blue. and I paused it again. And sure enough, yeah, that's, I mean, he's all soaped up, but. Um, it's great. Then today even says it later on. He goes, is that Bruce? Uh, Millard Harris, I can never forget Electra. I was a huge fan of Electra and ECW. Boy, oh boy. The photo shoots of Electra. Let me just put, they used to do these exclusive photo shoots of the girls in ECW. My God. Uh, Electra was, uh, that was my girl. Kyle, you ever see Electra? She appeared on Sopranos like twice. Really? Yes. Yeah, she was on Sopranos twice too. Great. She was married to Big Dick Dudley back in the day. Rex, you're on the last episode. We're on we're on twenty one. You're on twenty. Rex, this happened to you before. We're on (laughs) episode twenty (laughs) one, not twenty. We love you. You're on the wrong episode. I hope you watch twenty one, Rex. This is twenty one. Twenty one now. At least he's watching. He's watching. Rex Rex has been watching all of them with us. Rex is definitely he has his impact plus. He's been watching all of them for sure. Yeah, cocky. Kaki Siaki, that was last week, right? Kaki Siaki was last week. Yeah, but yeah, he had the he had the squash match here. Uh, all right, now this this was a great this was a great little thing coming up here. Jim Mitchell comes out. This is a great Jim Mitchell. We still see him now, eighteen years later, guys. It's crazy that it, Jim Mitchell has been a part of this company for that long. It's a long time. I mean, he went away for a bit in the in the middle, but he's been like a he's an OG. He's an Impact TNA OG. Hell of a career. Yeah, Hell of a career, man. Uh, I think he looks even more evil now. But anyway, he comes out and he says, "We aren't sports entertainers. We are, we are evil." And it gets a huge pop. Crowd goes oh, nuts. Oh yeah, they already love the new church. Introduces the new face of evil, coffee. Paul Nelson drinking coffee. Uh, introduces the new face of evil, Bella Donna. She's like a hot goth chick. Comes out, does a little like little dance. Got Kyle excited. Oh sure. Yeah. Work for worked on me. Uh, she looks like one of my future ex wives, absolutely. Oh, and yeah. she int- I like him, dog. Introduces the return of one of J Bone's favorites, Malice. Malice comes out. This is oh, uh, Josh Alexander was just tweeting about Malice last night, wasn't he? Last night, to- he was. He was saying how underrated he was, how good. I'm like, dude, he totally early, like the first five to seven episodes, the guy was fantastic. Same guy um, as the wall in late WCW there as yeah. the wall. 
And now, I didn't know that until like a few episodes in. Trent and I were talking, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. He, he had long hair, so I didn't yeah. recognize him. Yeah. He, uh, he ends up coming out. He dominates a, a local guy, Tony Chaos. Chaos, just chaos. Dominates and wins with a top rope knee drop. Now, here's the sad thing, guys. Two sad things to report in this segment here. Malice passes away like three months after this, which is which really sucks. Sucks. And in Japan, I believe. And I just found out today, Bella Donna, the girl who came out, she died last year. Yeah, I just yeah last January because I'm last like January. Oh, man, I, I I was looking it up on on my other computer here. I remember and, James uh, Mitchell uh, tweeting about that actually. Yeah, he like, tweeted about it. Saw, yeah, his tweets came up on uh, when I was looking. I was like, holy shit, she died at forty years old, man. Forty years old. Oh, yeah, younger than me. I was like, oh, the family. They didn't say how, but um, but man, a lot of good things. I guess uh, Wolfie D. Who, aka was um slash in the new church he posted up i guess he's the one who broke the news so his tweets were the ones in the news bit but that sucks because um yeah. she doesn't have much of I mean, she didn't have all that long of a career but man that's 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 stinks uh but yeah that's too sad little i mean just to know watching that you're like damn both of those people are gone you know fuck um yeah, chaos actually uh, i just uh read this little tidbit here in front of me uh chaos was one half of high voltage in wcw kenny, kenny chaos right oh, that was him yeah he was okay. in high voltage. Kenny K. Yeah, high voltage. They had the worst music ever. You guys remember their music? It literally was, it literally was this high voltage. High voltage. It was great. That's awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. It just a banger. Just electric. It was a tall banger. No music. It was just a sound effect. Uh, but the segment with the new church super over like the crowd was eating up fucking malice here man they loved having him back because Kyle, you missed this part but the early, i'm talking those early seven episodes here that dude was like on fire and he put a lot of people shamrock over a couple of times he was like killing it in the early early section of these shows man Ooh. gotta go back and see him go watch him telling you he's really good uh we go to the, we go right away. so there's like four segments just back to back. It's, there's so total segments on this show, guys. I've written them down. I had 19 segments on this show. That's a lot. There's, it's a busy show. Four four matches in the first half hour. Exactly, it's huge. <coughs> They're Display, all like two minutes, four minutes each. It's like Display Dead Punk Gage's uh, comment. I want to read that out. It's really interesting. I worked with Belladonna in 2003. She came to work with Alexis Lurie, who's a Mickey James, and she was really nice and an underrated beauty. Oh, she was definitely. I, I was into these kind of goth girls for sure. So definitely very beautiful. Uh, Dead Punk Gage, I'd like to know a little more about your history. What were you? Did you work? Did were you a wrestler? Were you involved in the indie scene? Where about? Give us some. Give us some background yourself. I want to. I'm, I'm curious. They got me thinking. Love to know about uh, what uh, what capacity you worked. Uh, her death wasn't made public, but she had, did have a history of addiction. That's sad, man. Real mm. sad. Real sad. Yeah, she was super young. Uh, all right. So, yeah, Dead Punk Gage. Let it let it be known what's going on here. Um, we go right from that to Jorge Estrada and Priscilla taking on Brian Lawler in April. I initially, j am I crazy? Or did, they, did they initially sell this as a tag team match? Like they were going to be a mixed tag, and then it turned into a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I, that's kind of what I assumed. Cause Last I'm week. I thought they sold it as a, ta a mixed tag. I could have yeah. sworn they put it out there as a mixed tag. They did because I went over it. It's um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got it in my notes here. Lawler and April versus Estrada and Priscilla. They did sell it that way. And I'm like, I'm not crazy. I know they totally put it out there like that. So, But it turned to a one-on-one. -on -one. Totally ended up being a one-on-one. -on -one. Lawler has some new music. He comes out to that. So much fucking heat here. It's unreal. The guy literally had the building on fire. Like Jay, this crowd, this was unbelievable. I love, and he's play. He knows how to play the crowd. You know, what are you guys snickering at? What is show on that screen? What are they doing here? Like, and then uh, oh, Lawler <laughs> talking to the crowd and talking yeah. to uh, Tanay, getting oh, up dude. on the table, and oh dude. yeah, man, they went nuts. And then he's yelling at April, and he uh, oh. he he uh, he definitely knew how to antagonize him. Kyle, what a heat magnet though, Brian Lawler, dude. I'm telling you, we. Did not appreciate this guy enough no, while we had him. Very animated character. So good, man. So good. I'm, I'm, I mean, he's son of Jerry Lawler, you know, one of the biggest names in wrestling. The guy, know, his pedigree is great, but this guy knew how to work a crowd. I wish he had 
a long run. This guy could this guy could be a coach today in the business to teach guys how to be character actors because that's what you need. You need guys like this who are fully committed. Because I watch Brian Lawler and I'm like, I'm convinced he's fucking nuts. I'm like, that's him. That that's not a that's not a, an act. That's that's Brian Lawler. But uh, no, he was great here. Um, I love Tanae throwing in the uh, the line here, Jay Bone. When it comes to April, I think I smell a rat. And I'm like, yo, the a Rizat, huh? Like he threw that in there. That was pretty good stuff. Oh, I I'm so glad you brought that up because I laughed so hard. And I'm because because if I was to if I was uh, uh, Don West, I'd, I'd probably be like, hey, hey, she's close enough. I think you smell something else. That was terrible, terrible. <laughs> but uh, um, this was a pretty good. I don't know what Priscilla is. I have no idea. Being on her back, if you guys know about that's, Priscilla, that's Estrada's. The yeah, I know, is, but like, oh, I don't know. About, like, who who is she? Any background? I have no idea on her background. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Let me. You know what? I got the links here. Hang on a second. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. And take that. Take that off for a second. Um, while you look that up, but yeah, dude, this was great. Um, Lawler wins with an illegal roll up, gets the win on this one. So I think this feud is kind of go looking like it's over. This was a dud. This is what yeah. like a four minute match. That was it. This is just to. This is just to get. Three. Three minutes, just to not get big on out there. Not gonna lie, not a favorite of mine so far. Yeah, I mean, he's lost. You know, the the flying Elvis thing. It had some, it had some, some go in the first like three, four, or five episodes. But after that, what do you do with him? Where does the character go? You're you're an Elvis impersonator. How you much die can on you the do? Toilet. Yeah, it's like, what do you do with this character? You're kind of lost. You know, you you could try, but it's really not going anywhere. Um, Right from that, guys, I mean, boom, match after match. We're on segment 10. We go to Jimmy Yang taking on the Amazing Red. Did you guys catch this? Tell me anybody else caught what Jimmy Yang's music was when he came out. Jay, I know you has to, you had to have caught this. Yes. <laughs> the music? Jimmy Yang's music was Abyss's music. Yeah, that, hey, yeah. Also, well, Monty Brown's well, music. <laughs> okay, I was, I was going to say, it's like, no, well, first, Monty Brown's music. <laughs> yeah. The and then Dale somebody Oliver else. Recyclable. Oh, my God. Then, Jay, if, I'm not crazy. Somebody else did, used it too once. I swear, I think somebody else used it. I think it they was, put it on it for was, Elix it, Skipper one time. I, yeah, it was, there was some random tag team that came out when they yeah. had like a big tag team melee and they ran a bunch of music real quick or something. And they yeah. ran that one. Yeah. But I'm like, Jimmy Yang came out to this music too. What the fuck? It was so random. So Jimmy Yang comes out to that business music, taking on red. This match is awesome. This match was very this was X this is X Division personified, guys. This was a great match. Jimmy Yang's back from the, his all Japan tour here. It's a nice little piece of trivia that um Mike Tanay threw in. He says, if you remember, or actually think Don Wester and Yang made the first ever pin in TNA history. First ever pin on TNA broadcast TV as a flying Elvis in the first oh, first match ever. That with the you got uh, a response from Dead Punk Agent there, Trent. Yeah, let's re put that up. Yeah, well, let me see. Let's see. Put that. Put his comment up here. Right. This is history. All right. I started on the ring crew in 2001 in a local upstart promotion in North Carolina. I paid for my training. My first full year in wrestling was all hardcore matches. Biggest loss was against Norman Smiley. Now, wow. Dead Punk Cage. I want to know. Oh my God. When you worked against Norman Smiley, was he screaming? Did you have a classic hardcore match against screaming Norman? Did he have the football helmet on? I need to know these details. Give me the T. Give me the T. That's awesome. That's awesome. That Kate Gage, I want to know if um I want to know if you got some stuff online we can watch. I'd like I'd love to see some of this stuff. What if, what if that's Nick Gage? Like kind of hide under a dead, another gimmick here. He's saying hardcore matches. Who knows? Better run. Better that was run. Nick Gage. About to kill us. <laughs> um so this was yeah so it was an interesting little factoid by, by don west i appreciated the, the trivia so guys keep that in your trivia pocket maybe swinger is going to ask that question first pin in tna history who did it uh we go right i mean these are like they were on rapid fire here guys there was like rapid fire segments bjj bg comes out what how, the hell happened to kyle what happened to everybody what happened to j-bone all right, well, everybody's, everybody's leaving. What the hell happened? Like little, uh, I don't know, little interruption there. Oh, weird. the internet. What am I doing down here? I don't know. You guys left it. It like bounced your faces around. Yeah, you like left and came back in. I think I accidentally bumped something. My mouse went screwy. I you bumped yourselves at, at one point. <laughs> okay, 
back on track, guys. You're, you're, you're throwing me off here. Throwing me off. Are the listeners still here? Those are still, yeah, everybody's still here. <laughs> BG James comes out, guys. The Road Dog, if for those who don't know. Cuts a promo on Jeff Jarrett about the match they got coming up next week, the uh, the finale for the um, the contender match. And actually, I'm going to skip one thing here. Actually, it might, let me back up for a second. Jarrett was in the back with Goldilocks. I forgot to mention this. Jarrett did a, did a thing with Goldilocks, and he mentions that he was just informed oh, yeah. that Six is not going to be at the show. So he gets a buy into the finals of the he, tournament, the, the number one know, contender tournament. He knows. If this was a very rough time for Six, so yeah, he knows so. He no showed the show, and but here's the thing too, they advertised him at the top of the show. So the no show happened within like the first thirty minutes. They knew he wasn't going to be there. That's crazy. That is crazy. Like that sucks. So Jarrett gets the buy. So later on, when BG comes out, he's telling he's calling out Jarrett. You know, he's telling him he's a he's a bitch, but he wishes him good luck. And he's like, we got history. You know, Jarrett interrupts. He's like, we got history. I've known you for a long time. Uh, He's like, um, you know, they shake hands. He's like, hey, listen, we got Brian, no hard feelings. You know, we're good. No hard feelings with you. Shakes his hand and boom, attacks him. Classic, classic Jeff Jarrett. Attacks him in the back. Takes you never him trust the scumbag. You, you can't trust Jeff Jarrett. The guy has one mission. He's been trying to get the belt for 21 weeks. He's emphasized that a lot on the show. 21 weeks, 21 weeks I've been trying. But uh, so now I got a little heat. So this was this sucks for now the whole six thing. This really sucks. He was he no showed in the middle of the show, and yeah, it was a rough time for him. That that really blows, man. The guy was going through some rough shit. The matches weren't terrible that he was in though. I think this no, is before man. or after the sex tape with China. I'm just wondering. This is this is before. Okay. This is oh oh two. This is before. What are you saying, Jay? Oh, I was gonna say his his matches were he was in on he was on point. I mean, as messed up as he was, his matches were awesome. The shit, yeah, the shit that Six did with uh, Styles is epic, dude. Yeah, he, he's he's not too bad. Like he's he was doing okay, but man, his personal life was a was a mess. Holy shit! Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> right away from that, guys, we go over to uh, the SATs versus Lenny and Bruce. Kind of a standard match. Nothing too. A lot of a lot of the uh, the homosexual spots. You know, obviously to play up the Lenny and Bruce thing, but. I missed something, Kyle. Did you catch this? That was Lenny, was Lenny like purposely, like fucking with Bruce a little bit? Like you could tell, like jilted lover. What do you do, Jay? Did something happen here? Like he was pissed off at Bruce because Bruce is banging in April. Yeah, now. yeah, something might have went this, down in the shower. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because she was working up a, uh, you know, a lather. Um, Jay's getting excited. Lenny has a lollipop too, by the way, Jay Bone. Yeah, you're in great company. <laughs> you well, stole my gimmick. There goes that idea. Uh, <laughs> Chewing gum it is. My, <laughs> uh, a, a chis arm. Um, a chis arm. I don't believe Dum Dum's coming yeah. to herpes variety. Oh, Lord, you should see what I have in this basket. Uh, <laughs> Get the thought out. <laughs> Slow this down. Get the thought out. Oh, he's interrupting me. Um, all right, so during the match, uh, Bruce is about to bounce off the ropes. Lenny yeah. pulls it down, sabotages Bruce, and takes him out towards the end of the match. That's what happened. So he's got there's some heat going on here. He's a little pissed off. I mean, lovers quarrel, Kyle. I mean, he caught his boyfriend. A little trouble in paradise. He got his boyfriend with a, with a woman in the shower. Well, they're hey. swinging, Trent. You guys Those swing? guys swing. They swing. You guys swing. Uh, that sucks. Poor Lenny. He's getting his heart broken here. But SATs get the win. Spanish fly. I remember how over the Spanish fly was at the time. Nobody was doing oh, it. Oh, man. It's amazing. We still got to get them on. The SATs have expressed interest about coming on this show. Uh, Spanish announce table. Spanish announce table. And then it became Spanish announce team. And for, I swear to God, at first they were calling them the Spanish announce table. And then they were Spanish announce team. That's what I thought, too. I'm. Yeah, but no, they, they want to come on the show, and we're going to try to figure it all out. Then we got a bunch of lot, them, Goldie. You know, they, they really want to have uh, – they really want to get some some appearances on here, so we'll, we'll work it all out. Dead Punk, just a quick update on Dead Punk Gage. It's not seriously like being – I dislike being in hardcore matches. The show was in a boys and girls club, and Norman was dressed in baseball gear. Nice. Hardcore battle royal. That's great, man. 
Wow. That's, That's cool. It's interesting. Nice little history about you. Awesome to know that punk. Appreciate that. Um, now let me ask you though, there's some people saying, like Paul Nelson says the SATs wouldn't fly today. You guys think like what do you guys think? I remember keep in mind from the 2002 perspective, these guys were the shit. Do you think it's nothing too exciting now? They weren't. I don't think they were. I think it's probably still hold up to today. I mean, obviously, red was red was the breakout. We know that. But I, I guess it's like the stereotype driven gimmick. It was 2002, different time. Different time. You, know, you weren't getting a lot of this kind of stuff. A little stuff. more politically incorrect back then with the entertainment. Yeah, well, for sure. I, they were a good team. Though. What do you think, Jay? Fantastic. Oh, I think they definitely would have. Um, they wouldn't have been called the um, Spanish announce team. They would have just been called the Maximos or something else. Yeah. And they probably would have changed their gear up today. Um, but, yeah, man, they absolutely would have, you know. I think so. I mean, they were they were a solid team too. They, they definitely had, they're making a comeback this year. For, I mean, when everything resumes, so they'll be out back on the scene this year. So keep an eye for them, guys. Uh, we go from that to Bullet we're gonna, Bob. Huh? We're, we're we're gonna help plug the comeback. We are absolutely we are. That's what we're gonna do. Bullet Bob confirms that that confirms Don has been fired as security as head of security, but he's not as a wrestler. So the Harris brothers will be teaming back up. Uh, how about how about uh, Bullet Bob wearing that like that camel leather uh, jacket? Jack, Kyle, that's something I can see you doing at seventy years old, pimping, having like this pimp ass jacket, and just and just making rules and hitting on hitting on blonde announcers, just smooth. <laughs> like you look, what a pimp! Like that camel Don camel hair is still in the building. So Bullet Bob might have a gun loaded with bullets in his pocket. Did you? Uh, I like what he said there. Did you catch Bullet Bob? What he said about Don Harris, though. Cal, I don't like you... the Harris brothers. What about him? You don't, you don't a like Harris? I'm a fan. Not a fan at all. Never was. Even when they were creative control in WCW, you guys remember that? Now, you know, they... to, to be honest about it, there's always been these weird rumors about them having like Nazi tattoos. Uh, yeah. Just because of that, that's always kind of. Uh, but I don't really, honestly, I don't know if that's true. That's like Marilyn Manson removed the rib to suck his own dick. I, I don't know if it's true. I don't know. They said they got SS tattoos, and they said Taker's got it too. So who knows, man? I don't who even knows? know. They're all boys of the Taker. I don't. I don't know what the hell they got, but they were oddly involved in in um Impact for a long time. They owned a, a production company called Aerolux Entertainment. They were part of that big struggle. That's a podcast that that power struggle of 2016. Yeah. They were they were in there. They were like they had they had, they were given some percentage of ownership. Uh, in exchange for money owed to them, it was something crazy like that. They had that promotion, Arrow Lucha, just like GFW, never went anywhere. Yeah, they had a couple like, episodes, never yeah, like, surfaced. Like six they episodes did, that did great, and then never went anywhere. They did a whole set of tapings that they um, shot for TV, including Rey Mysterio. Yeah, you know he was he was the anchor. Yeah. And, and then by the time they got it out, it pro- he, he probably signed to WWE or somewhere else. Yeah. But when they, were like starting, when they were starting to get things in place, see, basically, Aero Lucha was the PG version of Lucha Underground. It was the family. Family friendly. Yeah, yeah. because let's not kid ourselves. Lucha Underground was definitely young adult, teenage and up yeah, based, yeah. you know. Uh, it was not for little kill, you know. There was blood and stuff, blood um, guts, blood and guts, and you know, you know, Brian people Cage died on that show. Uh, many people. Season four, the dead count was like up in the three dozens. It yeah. was ridiculous. And Lucha Underground uh, itself is dead. So R.I.P. to Lucha Underground as well. Yeah, I, I that's what's letting this slide. They're dead. They're not competition. Go, Impact. Go no. watch it on. Go watch it on Tubi. It's all free. But I'll tell you what, it's uh, so these guys were, yeah, they had arrow, so they, they were around, they were doing stuff for impact for a long time, so they stayed in the family for a while, but they were more like on the Jarrett side of things. But I think what ended up happening was Anthem paid them off, and that was it. Uh, what the hell is Zach Bonifer saying? J Bone versus Lenny versus Joey Ryan for a triple threat <laughs> lollipop on a pole match? <laughs> I'll pay for it, I would pay Kyle's money to watch this, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 200%. I will pay for this. No question about it. A little it. creepy. I'm little coming creepy to Palmer right now. I'm coming down there. It's going to happen in New York. I'm going to travel from state to state to state. It's going to be me, these guys, and Manny Bones. We're coming for you. 
Kyle, can you mute his mic, please? He's losing his fucking He's mind. He's got the control. I can't do it. No, shut please, that mute his, please mute his mic. I, I am the up. producer. Damn All right, it. This, this, is, this is out of control. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> uh, the Hot Shots come out to some new music. So give a little bit to the Hot Shots against the Harris Brothers. Domination, though. The Harris Brothers kill them with a... With the uh, what the hell is their finishing call? I, I forgot to write this down. They had a the Harris bomb, H bomb. They call it the H bomb. H bomb. H bomb. Uh, they kill him with the H bomb. Post match attack. They beat the shot of the hot shots. Pretty much done. Uh, BG James right after that comes out. He calls Jeff Jarrett a low down piece of shit. He says Jarrett yeah, load out. No bleep. No bleep. No beep. And he tells him he says if you have a hair on that shriveled up sack of yours. Why don't you have the match right now, Kyle? I know you love. You a notice good that info. about BG James. Whenever What's he's that? talking, anytime he's talking, yeah. he's always going for the balls. Always going for the ass. He, he's a dirty guy. He's a very and, dirty, and dirty dog. He stayed in. He's the road dog. He stayed in the in the in the realm here. He called Jeff Jarrett a pussy. He does the that. pump handle slam. He humps the guy a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's a pervert. He's kind of a pervert. Yeah, Jerry very much is a pervert. Yeah. He is kind of, he is, he, yeah. I mean, what's with like the whole like pumping the ass when he like gets him ready for the pump handle slam? I'm like, why, why are you simulating butt sex? I never, never, never got it. Never got it either. Never got it either. Doggy Jay? style. Yeah, I guess. But it's like, why, why are you humping Jeff Jarrett before you do it? <laughs> uh, but I but like, the guy is good on the microphone. He can talk right. that shit. He's great on the microphone. He's great on the microphone. He always has been. He's always been a great guy on the microphone. Uh, he calls Jeff Jarrett a pussy. He says, I've known your dad, and your dad's a pussy. And they censor pussy, but they let everything else go. I don't get That's it. what I don't understand. Why do you keep pussy? And I was like, you let shit and shriveled up sack go, but pussy, which is <laughs> that gets bleeped. Uh, and then he said, you know what? I've been thinking about it. Your mama's a pussy, too, and that's it. You don't talk about no southern boy's mama. No. And hey, that was it. He, comes, he starts attacking bg bullet comes out bullet looks like that 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 uncle who comes to like deal with you and your cousins fighting at the family party <laughs> and he kind of looks with looks at you like what the fuck are you doing like what the fuck what is this he's got what? the shotgun in the trunk you don't mess with him you don't but he's trying to tell you like i i'm not gonna tell your parents what the fuck are you doing like what are you ruining this party he literally comes out with that look like god damn it He's the yeah. goddamn fucking kids. Yeah, you, Except you, in J-Bone's family. J-Bone's uncle was naked while all that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you kids doing? What the fuck are we doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> That'll get any kids to stop. Your, your creepy uncle just walks in naked. He'll they stop used, fighting in a second. They used to yell at me all the time for all that when I was little. You know, I used to run around oh naked God. in the backyard. My it's a God. Wisconsin thing. Must be. Must it's the be. cheese. That must be the cheese. I don't know what's in that we're cheese. Either we're people or we're running around naked. <laughs> what the hell is that? Dude, Kyle, it's like it's like 45 minutes that way for me. I don't know what's <laughs> going on up there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bullet comes don't, out and don't come up here, Trent. Don't come I can't up now. Here. I can't go anywhere now. <laughs> this is where I this is everything. I have my art table in the back. I make my paintings here. I got my TV and stuff. It's, this is it's all I live is here now. That's it, guys. Is where I work in my office. Yourself, Trent, or is like the cabin fever and the anxiety starting to set in? You know, the boredom. It uh, it creeps in and out. I gotta say, when I, when I it creeps in and I gets it gets to me. I have because I'm not even going to the grocery store. I'm trying to stay completely quarantined. I've been quarantined for over a month, and today my sister said I should go ahead and go to. She's like, you can go to mom and dad's house now. You haven't even gone to the grocery store. I think you can go in the parents' house now and give mom and dad a hug because I've been going to the patio. I've been hanging out with my parents in the fucking patio. And my dad never like, introduced what? me to your sister, Trent. She's in California, Kyle. She's in California. Cali. LA. How old is she? She is 30. She's gonna be uh 36 this year. Oh, she's too 35. Old for me. Too old for me, Trent. This is a very interesting stat. Hold on, at least stay away from my sister. God damn it. <laughs> this is a very interesting stat here. The Briscoe brothers wrestled a dark match on this episode. No, I didn't note that. I do know that match exists because it is on. The rare matches section on Impact Plus. Jay, have you seen this match? It's on the rare matches section. Oh, the the no. hidden what, Kyle. What do they call the hidden gem section or something? It's in the they hidden gem a, section. Wait, weren't the Briscoes on one of the first like episodes, or is that the hidden gems thing I'm thinking of? Yeah, they're on the hidden gems. So this is was it? the episode. This is the episode. Oh, that they okay. did it on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I I've seen. 
I've probably seen it, but it's been a long freaking time. So yeah. I'm a big Briscoe fan. Kyle, you're I love the Briscoe. You love know what though? Bit. It's funny because Trent, you know this. J Bone, you know this. And anybody who's been following any any impact related broadcasting I've been doing for years, I'm a diehard impact fan. So I try to appreciate the other promotions. I try to mm-hmm. support them as much as possible. But you know what it's like, Trent. You're just you're a loyal okay. impact guy. That's what it is. You just it's hard. But the Briscoes are one of those exceptions. Never. Well, uh, that's a lie. I, I used to be into Ring of Honor many moons ago, but they're like the one team outside of Impact that I'll go out of my way to see their matches because they're amazing on the microphone in the ring. And I still fantasize about it, Trent. One day, the Briscoes will finally I- say goodbye to Ring of Honor and start a new life with us in Impact Wrestling. I- and the rest of the impact. I fans. still can't believe they never did. They're gonna die. At Ring of Honor. They're gonna die there. <clears throat> I just don't know what's left for them at Ring of Honor. What is left for them to do? They're like twenty-two time tag team. But they kind of just celebrate that. It's just like they're just gonna keep stacking it up. Five years from now, they'll be like the forty-time ROH tag champs, and you'll just be stuck wondering what if they could have done other things. Yeah, like, it's true. You know what? Like it's like I that's know that like, they, they let's had say we with- stayed on the Impact Lounge and never left the Impact Lounge. Because it was safe there, we had security there. You got to take mm-hmm. chances. You got to bet on yourself. So I think the Briscoes, hopefully someday, are able to move on. I I would like it. I would like them to, to give it a shot. Uh, they wrestled Quiet Storm and Chris Devine. Interesting. Thanks, uh, Miller, for that. Usually the site I use has dark matches on there, it's like my supplemental info. But I I took my own detailed, different kind of notes today, so I didn't put that down. But thanks for yeah, because I knew they appeared. Like if you go in the hidden gems on Impact Plus, that match is featured out. You can definitely watch the Briscoes. A um, lot of rarities, man. They added a new one today, guys. There was like, it was like, uh, what was it uh, Naito and Tanahashi? Tag that. Team oh, yeah. Impact Plus mm-hmm. Weekly Show, Trent. Oh, a lot yes, to talk yes. About sorry, this. sorry. New Sammy and friends. If you, if you guys haven't known, we've been doing. We have a new show. Kyle, new like, explosion. Kyle. We'll plug that at the end of the show. Kyle's going to plug it. That's his yeah. brainchild, guys. That's my baby. So we'll, uh, we'll plug that. That is his baby. That is the new Impact Plus Weekly. All right. Um, so the fight's official, right? The Jeff, Jared, and BG fight's official. That's it. They're going to, like, basically it's a way to speedball because they got – they had to skip. So six doesn't show up, right, Jay? Six is out. You move this match, what would have been the, the finals. He's out of here. So you move the finals of this week, and then next week is your title match. So – Jarrett gets the win and gets a stroke on a, on a chair, but they fought all over the building, though. This was great. I mean, this was. This I love was that. Idea. That's one thing I love about these old uh, Nashville oh, fairground tapings. Tons of those. It's that vibe of like old school ECW where they would go into the Eagle's Nest, go by the concession mm-hmm. stand. Uh, even later on, when Raven comes around, you get his perch, like the perch matches and stuff like that. Like, something about the yeah. Nashville Fairgrounds, just this gritty, hardcore vibe to it. Soon. Yeah. Soon. It's coming. <laughs> it's like It's got that old Southern just brawl. You know, oh, that yeah. Brawl There's style. that Southern wrestling to it, you know? A it's a, a fight. A wild, it's wild a West so carnival want- type feel. It's just wild. I just like it. It's a fight. It feels like a real fight. That's what I want stuff to feel like, a real fight. That's a big thing I have with wrestling today is that nothing feels like a fight. You know, like a lot of things it's are just they seem like choreo. You know? That's what I'm saying. Make give me a fight. It doesn't have to be clean. I want a fucking fight. Like you know, Sammy sound Sammy is a fight. You watch Sammy Callahan, it's a fight. You know, you watch him fight. Guys like that, it just seems like a fucking brawl. That's what I want. I want just chaos. Um, all right. Let's keep going here, boys. So and that's the Jeff, perfect wins, segue don't... into the next uh, match, Trent. The chaos, that's... the brawling. This is a fight. Yeah, this is a... Kyle set this one up. Since you since you teased it, go ahead and set it up. This was you want to talk a fight. So this is let, a let fight. Me, let the old scumbag take over from here, Trent. Uh, it. Currently, it. where we are in the show right now, the one thing that I'm enjoying the most is this tag team feud between America's Most Wanted, Chris Harris and James Storm. And the new church, the new church mm-hmm. slash James Storm. Now we have uh, Belladonna, and uh, what was the other guy? That's Flash and Brian Lee. Is Brian it? Lee, yeah, uh, old yeah. Uh, prime time Brian Lee. Uh, prime time Brian Lee. Last week they had this insane match 
fought all over the arena, blood everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking they're going to come around again, and it's probably going to be different. They're probably going to be – it's going to be just more of a regular wrestling match. Well, I was wrong, Trent. Mm-hmm. I was dead wrong. Another was, chaotic, bloody brawl all over the place. This, this was bananas. This was just – last week I think it was more brutal. But this yeah. was bonkers, Jay. Jay, what do you think about this one? I love how they came in through the crowd, though. I love that part. Oh, that yeah, man. They, they, they snuck up on him. But what's funny is if you go back and watch it, watch mm-hmm. Jeremy Borash as, as he's announcing because he's watching for him. He knows where they're coming from. Yeah, oh, okay. So, so he's giving it so, away a little bit. So, yeah. So, so he's looking like he's looking over the camera guy's shoulder. Cause that's where they're uh-huh. coming from, where the announce table is, and uh, the um, you know, uh, Slash and Lee are looking towards the, the ramp because they right. always come, they always drop the belts at the top of the ramp and they go barrel down to the ring, dive in, and uh, uh, uh. no, no, they snuck up on them to the start, they, they try to get a one up on them this time, and uh, yeah, didn't work. It was Dude, tremendous, it was, it was though, intense. man. This fight, it was a bloody mess. Slash busting his stitches open. Love Everybody it. was bleeding. Belladonna just looked all confused and weirded out and on the side of the stage in her weird, clunky heels. It was hilarious. Dude, it was this was this was a brawl. I just this feud is fantastic. Um, but they were going for everything. Belladonna gets involved. Lee has the spike in his hand. Yeah, that's what, what I was going to get to, Trent. I really loved the uh, sequence events at the end. I liked how this match folded. I liked Break how you had Mitchell sneaking in the spike while AMW was hitting the death sentence. And uh, I th- it was uh, it was Brian Lee, I believe, that uh, mm-hmm. was able to use the spike. And uh, yep. but the ref was the ref was perfectly. De- how- the ref gets hit down with the crossbody first, actually. Yeah, right. he ref gets taken out the crossbody, so he's out. Scott yes. Armstrong is out. Yeah, crossbody. he was down, right? So but he's yeah, he's like yeah, wins. Brian Lee gets to use the spike, but what got me was after the match, after New Church picks up the win with that spike shot, Belladonna yeah. takes the blood, smears it on her body. Oh yeah. my god! Strange. She's it's got sort of ritualistic She's black got magic hand. shit. She's got her hands all over Slash's Take head, and then she does this, and then she puts her hands down around her midsection, and it was just like, ooh. My kind of girl. Good stuff, <laughs> huh? Good stuff. Me in 2002, I was probably really excited sitting on my, my buddy Dave's couch watching this, seeing that unfold. You, you <laughs> but, and your gothic uh, girlfriend making love in the creek like the Limp Biscuit song? <laughs> it's just just every day is Halloween, man. Just remember that. Every day is Halloween. Now, that was cool, though, Kyle. I, uh, we got new tag team champions here, though. The Spike, they, Lee Spike Storm, New Church wins. I mean, they changed the belts on this one. This was this was so perfect for how much they're pushing the New Church. I mean, the New Church got new members. Malice came back and a goddamn title change. So they got the belts. So this, you guys are officially involved now. In the, one of the best feuds in TNA history, like the New Church and W feud, phenomenal. This is bloody, brutal. It's gonna be good stuff. Uh, Zach Boniford, going back to the Briscoes here, is revealed by the Briscoes in the YouTube video. They were eventually turned out. Yeah, Jay Briscoe says they weren't cosmetically pleasing, but why didn't they go to Impact? That camp, I still can't get over it. They should have at least had a run at Impact. And anyway, this, the, well, the, the kicker to all this stuff that they weren't cosmetically pleasing. This is all prior to Bray Wyatt's whole like family thing showing up and doing that. So they basically took the Briscoe's backyard southern gimmick. Put it on someone else. That sucks. Now, whether that that's original from Bray Wyatt, I don't know. But yeah, look what cares. happened right afterwards. You know, it was just yeah. crazy. Who cares? I don't give a shit. Isn't that whole bri- Wyatt family gone anyway? Is don't like care. Else? Don't yeah. care. But don't I do care. care about Kid Cash versus AJ Styles versus I, Jerry Lynn. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, go ahead. Set it up, Kyle. You, you, you brought it up. Set it up. Well, Let's one go. second. Cat interruption. You go, Trent. Cat interruption. His, 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 little, his little baby. His little, he's, he's a father now. Uh, are you going to introduce us to the cat? Can we see the cat? No? 
Maybe not. He's a little, he's a little private about it. All right, guys, don't forget the poll. Jay, did you put that up today on the Twitter by naming the cat? Did you put that on? Who put uh, that? Po- who put- I sh- shared it. No, I think it was. It's definitely somebody put it on our, on the We Talk Impact Twitter. Uh, shared Kyle's photo of his kitty and said, "Go ahead and name the cat." And I think uh, I want to say what Kill Steel. I think had a great one. He said, uh, "What is Cat Seidel?" Thought that was good. <laughs> Cat Seidel, um, uh, Jamie uh, sent me one. I can't remember what it was, but they left stuff on the Facebook page. Uh, they were really messaging all it. over, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah. So um, we'll we'll uh, we'll take a look at them, and then over the course of the next week, and then we'll uh, we'll have them pick a winner. All right, cool. Very <laughs> nice. Well, it's uh, Kyle's cat. He could name them whenever he wants. Well, sure. Well, he's just gonna name what we want. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Main event. Main event, guys. AJ Styles, Kid Cash, Jerry Lynn, X Division Championship. This X Division personified, guys. I mean, this just the fact that you're getting the main event as the X Division, several, only 21 episodes, and I think half have been the X Division main event in the show. I mean, it's telling you how important they put this division on a pedestal. And they still should, I think. They should still do that once in a while. But it was truly treated like the, the the crown jewel of the company. I mean, this was the most int- – I mean, if you guys were around in 2002, it was what all everybody was talking about. If you were – guys, anybody in the chat who was watching around then, everybody was talking about this. The exhibition was like the darling of the wrestling scene at the time. It was fantastic. It was so different. It was so interesting. But Kyle, perfect timing. No, I was like, perfect no timing. Uh, you know, you're talking about the X Division. Did you see the comment that was left on our last podcast? About what? No. Regarding the X Division? No. Was, uh, no was, last night we got a comment, actually, that uh, our old home, the Impact Lounge, there was a video recently put up where uh, they were basically saying they think the X Division should be removed and replaced with just a generic mid-card title. And uh, I just couldn't believe it because it's like, how do you throw away such a rich history? What brought the, gave the company its identity in those early years? It's the X Division. Wait, I just wait, don't wait, understand. Get, and I thought these straight. were strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Somebody re- recommended removing the X Division, like the crown jewel of the company. Like the well, one thing of, one the of the now that we're gone from the Impact Lounge, uh, one of the new uh, broadcasters on there uh, put up a video, and uh, it was a quick little news bump or whatever. But one of his points of the video was that the X Division is just sh- should be thrown away, thrown in the trash. It means nothing uh, anymore, and that's such a rich history flushed down the toilet. How do you do that? How do you do that? What are you doing? I don't know. Because that's anybody in the chat agree with that. This is the this is the this is the title that defined the company. Get rid of it? I don't know about that. Disagree. No. Disagree. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs down. Absolutely not. All right. This match got incredible match. Jay Bone, let's start with you. Thoughts on this one. This was a phenomenal. This that's it. Summed it all up. That's that's exactly what this is when you tell anybody X Division, these are the kind of matches you show them. What do you think about this one? Yeah, this this defined like yeah exactly like yeah, this is why we love the X division because Beautiful. of like the risks that these guys took back then. It's insane. Yeah. It's entertaining. It's wild. It's crazy. It's unpredictable. Absolutely, that's one of the biggest things right there. These matches are unpredictable. You could pick a winner, but as far as from point A to point B. You know what? He did exactly. Kyle, give me your thoughts on this one, man. This was a great match. Uh, Jerry Pile drives, Colonel Pile drives cash to get the win on this one. He retains, but this was this was fun. I mean, Jerry uh, Lynn. Hell is of a good. match. Uh, I don't know if it was as good as uh, low key in Kid Cash's spot because we have seen that uh, triple threat. Agreed. But uh, yep. hell of a match. Uh, I mean, but how can you? How can you fill the shoes of the other one I just named? But uh, very, exactly. very good. Definitely very good. Uh, one of those things you think back on, you know, what is the X Division? You think of AJ Styles. Think of Jerry Lynn. Think of Kid Cash. Yeah. Low key. Kid Cash I don't know just if I think of more back. of a plum tree, but I do, I do think not. of the other three. Absolutely not. Uh, no, this was great. And it wasn't that. It wasn't the better. It wasn't the best. 
Uh, but it was a really fun. It was kind of short, though. Jay, what's the time on this one? Do you have a time on this one? Uh, I just got rid of the page. I think it was like 10 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't too long. 10, but, 15 you know, minutes. I want to see a comment here. Put a comment up by uh, Hakeem Fortin has a good comment. I want to read that off he, about the X Division. Interesting comment here. I want, I want, to, I want to get your guys' thoughts just on, on topic. The idea was basically replace the X Division because it's commonplace in wrestling today. Be that as it may, the X Division has the advantage of being more than commonplace. That's the idea. Like this was the one that started. But if you if you go away, then you you kind of succumb to the fact you're like, oh well, we're yeah we're commonplace and that's it. But it's like no, yeah. this is it's I, I guess a like around the it. modern uh, landscape of professional wrestling. You see a lot of guys doing X Division style moves and all over the card. So I yeah. get that. But you can just evolve the X Division and change it. I don't think it has Absolutely. to go anywhere. I think that name is cemented in history. Plus, you keep it because you're the first one. You're the one who did it. So you keep it. You you stay. You keep your history. You know. I, I don't think add another title. Don't get rid of this one. I don't. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, that was the end of the show. We got a little a preview from Don West. Uh, you know, we, it's funny. Bullet Bob walked out and handed Don West the lineup. And Don is very excited here, J Bone, about next week's matches. I missed very it, excited. so please go over it. All right. He just goes, he just goes over who's going to be on next week. And then right after that, Jeff Jarrett comes out. This is kind of weird, though. They close out the show with Jarrett, and he addresses the truth about the title match going on next week. And he, he kind of have a long three-minute deal. Uh, just basically says it's not his dream. It's his destiny to become World Heavyweight Champion. What I got me about this was it's very babyface-ish. It was great. He went very babyface on this one. Even though, because truth is the heel, but so is Jarrett. But he went, I think he set himself up as a baby face because he's been a heel, but he's going for that title next week. But he really went for like that baby face pop. Jay, did you catch this part? I don't remember the details of the very end because I was doing a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, I think he, he really tried to set up because I think Truth's already being a heel. He tried to really set himself up as the face. Kyle, did you see this? It's right. It's like right at the end, even after the match. Is That's over, what this. confused me. Like all the things that Jared was saying were things yeah. – that would come out of a, a good guy, a baby face's mouth. And it's like, Jeff Jarrett's a douchebag. So I was a little little confused there. And it's like, Ron Killings is being painted more as the heel. I don't know. So I was a little confused there. But this is NWA TNA. There's a lot of confusion. Comes with the territory. I think I think what I think the idea was that Jarrett realized like they gotta put he's he's going for the belt now, finally. It, if it goes heel versus heel, it's not going to have any effect. Like he had to set himself up in some kind of babyface thing. This was a very babyface promo, saying how like, oh, he's been trying for twenty two weeks. It's it's going to be his, his destiny. I've been dreaming it since I was a kid. I've been I used to watch him in this very building. I mean, it was it, was, it kind of got me on his side to be honest. I was like, man, you know, that's kind of cool. Hopefully, he wins. You know, that kind of thing. So next week is set up pretty nicely. Big talent on next week's show. It's going to be fun. Next 22 is going to be a good one, guys. So um, definitely looking forward to it. They got me excited for 22. I got to give them that. This left me on a nice cliffhanger. I'm really into going for 22. Jay? They had me kind of you? forget about Mr. Wrestling 3 in this episode, though. They really only mentioned him like once. One time. In the beginning. The very beginning of the show. They just talked about how he, he never <coughs> signed the contract. He should have made an appearance. Though. They, they should have had him show up in some capacity. Well, on they, the they, show, they gave him a mention. Like, if, if he does run ins it, every though. week, it's gonna just get weird and boring. Like, this is all this guy does. So, they they like they're like, okay, they're pull up, pull back from him for a couple episodes. We're gonna talk about him, we'll mention him, we'll keep him fresh in people's minds, but we're not yeah. gonna stick him in your face every two seconds. True, true, but it, it, it would make it's gonna make whatever happens next week a little more effective, I'm sure. So, um well, that's it. That was the, that was the episode, guys. That's number twenty one, NWT number twenty one, November thirteenth, two thousand two. Man, we are almost uh, into two thousand three here, Jay. But we're almost getting into uh, rounding out the year. I think I'm sure the the ones in December are going to be some recaps. So we'll we'll have to see how it goes. But looking at the Impact Plus app, I just see we're almost nearing the end of the uh, the two thousand two box. So I'm looking forward to uh, to getting into it, guys. That was uh, that's the episode. Let remember. Follow along with us on the Impact Plus app. If you don't have Impact Plus, it's eight bucks. It's cheaper than anything else. And look, 
You're quarantined. Cheaper than Chipotle, right, Trent? Cheaper than cheaper than a goddamn Chipotle burrito. I still can't get over how Chipotle charges nine dollars for a burrito. You no, can get no, half the Taco Bell generous. menu. You're being generous. If you go to Chipotle and you want to get the guacamole and you want oh, more than one it. miniature scoop of chicken, you're you're hitting 15, 16 bucks. Easy. For a burrito? Easy. Are you kidding me? For a burrito? Easy. Give me a break here. All right, quit, the menu quit talking Taco about Bell. Chipotle. I haven't left my house in five weeks. I can't leave. Shut up. Yeah, don't take it easy, will you? You got you got your lollipops. Just 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 sit out and have your lollipops. Um, Jericho was not an AWA though. What's uh, what are we talking about here? All right, anyway, let's uh, anyway let's uh, let's stay focused. Anyway, all right. So guys, your quarantine impact plus is giving away thirty day free trial. So get it for eight bucks. Get it for free for a month. Watch with us. We're going to try doing double ups too. Kyle is adamant on putting as much fucking content out while we're quarantined as we can. Well, and uh, that, man, because people are inside and they want to listen to podcasts. They need us. They're looking towards us. We're keeping them us. You need us. Well, tell God, that leads me to my next them. point. What, what, uh, tell them about the new show. We have a new show on the network, guys. Tell them new about the new show. show. Check out the new, new gig. show. Uh, we're doing the Impact Plus weekly. You know, once a week, we'll be here on the channel on TNI TV, breaking down all the weekly editions to Impact Plus. Self-described. We got Sammy and Friends. We have Impact Explosion. And we might yeah. dig around the hidden gems. You never know what we're going to pull out. And hopefully, Sammy and Friends is the first of many new type of shows. That are yeah. Wrestling centric. Yeah. I want more shows like that. Very well done. Very unpredictable, very punk rockish. Like kind of, it's almost, it's a little edgy, you know. Yeah, I like it, man. I I want more of it. I mean, I, I'm, and maybe we might even go back and break down some uh some of the older originals if they don't put out any new stuff. We'll talk about maybe we'll recap a couple of the older things. But definitely, guys, I've been digging we'll around the in, the uh like generic independent section on Impact Plus, the non Impact yeah. content. There's a lot of random stuff. Tons of stuff. I thought it's full of stuff for eight bucks, man. There's a lot going on there, man. Uh, so definitely check it out. Go, go check it out, guys. Sammy and Friends is out. When, when is, he, is there a day the new one comes out? Is it every, what, Wednesday or something or what? Not sure. Every- I checked this morning. Episode three is up. So maybe three, uh, I- three came out a few days ago. It's very good. You know, I like this. It's if you like Ethan Page's vlogs, you're going to love Sammy's. Now, let me let me bring up another question. Excuse me. Why isn't Ethan Page's vlog on Impact Plus? It's perfect for it. I would like I to hit that one too. I want I want I to include it. that in the Impact Plus weekly show. Put it on. I got a feeling that his might not be on because he wants to keep his on his own channel. He wants to build his own his own brand. I understand. I understand. So, and he started he started yeah. it beforehand. You know, he started it before um, before the, all that. So he was doing his own thing. So simulcast it. We're simulcasting. Give it two homes. We're, we're quadcasting. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Don't forget, guys. Always quadcasting every weekend. Did you say so, Periscope? Uh, Periscope <laughs> is Twitter. I, I, I lump well, them both together. Yeah, it's yeah. Twitter slash Periscope. Twitter scope. All right, so let's start. Let's get the wrap up here, guys. Um, go ahead, Jay. Where can people find you? What's the other, the other channel? Get plug the other channel here, please. Oh, you can find me over on that little podcast called Smash This Podcast, where we're smashing all things wrestling all the time. Uh, cover a bunch of different things on there. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to kick myself. The first thing I'm doing in the morning, first thing we're doing tomorrow, we're just going to do the, the next uh, review of Dark Side of the Ring because I, I haven't done it since last Tuesday. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to get my review of the Snooka episode. And then uh, I don't know what else is happening the rest of the week because I'm going to be busy with these guys a lot. But I'm, I'll still put out some kind of content. Um Rebellion watch party tomorrow. Be sure to mention that. We're gonna plug it. Plug it. I'm, I'm letting him get his in here. We're Kevin yeah, Hart is jumping on us already, man. I, I see him in the chat. I see it. I see it. J Bone, anything else for you? Or you can find me over on the Twitter box at J Bone fifty one fifty. That's J A Y B O N E fifty one fifty. Boom. Connect with J Bone, guys. Tomorrow night, Kyle. Tell him about the watch party. This is, you're organizing this tomorrow. You better set this up. Another about thing the watch that Trent is putting on me. So if it goes right. wrong, Kyle's fault. Absolutely. Kyle's fault. It's, it's it easy to Kyle. blame you. It's easy to blame you. I'll be your whipping boy. All right, go for it. Tell him about tell him what's going on tomorrow. 
tomorrow night here on the channel. We're going to be, well, not on the channel. Not here, now we're on Twitch. Twitch yeah. channel. So we would appreciate it if you could pull up Twitch and follow us at TNI Show. That's our Twitch name because I'm a moron. And Trent said I shouldn't have made it TNI Show. Should have made it Total Nonstop Impact. But it's TNI Show. Tomorrow we're going to do a watch along party for Rebellion. We're going to be co streaming Rebellion. So you're going to watch the show. And you're going to get your three talking heads, J-Bone, Trent, and yours truly. We're going to be doing yep. a little uh, commentary, hanging out, a couple drinks, snacks, all that. I I got pizza. So, yeah, Age tomorrow dancers. night we'll be, we will be doing the uh, we'll be doing the co-stream. Catch us on there. And then immediate, and following the co-stream, about a half hour after it goes off the air, we'll be back here on this channel, the Total Nonstop Impact, do the full review. So now we did predictions yesterday. Go check the predictions. You know, you guys bullied us into predictions. We were just going to do the review, and it got bullied into doing predictions, so we did it. We delivered predictions. Go check out our predictions. See what you guys think of us. Yeah, so so we're still going to do the review after the watch-along party. So yeah. the watch-along party, it's just a place for all of us to hang out together and watch the show together. Yeah. Don't expect too much from us during it. It's just you're locked in. You're quarantined. You don't want to watch the show alone. Let's have a party. Let's hang out. Okay. Get, Get the chat going. Watch, I'm good with that. Let's do that. Uh, so Kyle set that up. You let us know how we, how we do it, but uh, guys, don't forget you will be back here after the show. As I mentioned, after rebellion tomorrow, we'll be doing that. Also, don't forget, you can take this podcast on the run with you and audio wise. We're available on all major podcast platforms, Apple podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google play, iHeartRadio, Tuna radio, Spotify, rate, review, subscribe, do whatever you got to do, but let us know how we're doing on those. But let us know where you're listening from. You're listening from Periscope, Twitch, Apple iTunes, Stitcher, whatever. Let us know where you are listening from. We'd love to know where everybody's coming from. I get the stats, but it's nice to hear from you guys too. So don't forget, guys, we are also on all social media. We can be found at We Talk Impact. Just type in We Talk Impact, all one word, and the Total Nonstop Impact uh, channel comes right up. Or just type in Total Nonstop Impact, and it comes right up. Guys, don't forget, tell your favorite uh, Impact Management team who's very available on Twitter. Let them know who you want to be the official podcast of Impact Wrestling. I, a lot of our fans here have been telling, I've been, I've been seeing tweets to Scott Demore, tweeting tweets to Impact Wrestling's account. Keep telling them, guys. Keep telling who you want to be the official podcast of Impact Wrestling. Maybe we'll be on the Twitch. Maybe we'll be on the Impact Plus app. We'll be on We may, we'll be on something. But let them know where you, where you want us because I think, uh, j Paul, I think we do a pretty goddamn good job. Well, what we do. I think nobody's pumping out this much Impact Wrestling content like we are. There's a lot of goddamn content on this channel from us, from three guys. <coughs> we are the of voice content. of the fans. We are the voice of the fans. We're the voice. We're the, we are the we are the TNA Impact. You name it. The anthem. The anthem cheerleaders over here. For God's sake, we what are, are you going to say? We, are. we really are. Somebody tell Len Asper what we're doing over here. I tried. It's not just the three of us either. It's, I like how we're a movement. We have all of our listeners. Like it's not just the three of us. You get a couple hundred of us. Absolutely. What do you got, Jay? Well, you're gonna say something. You had a thought to close it out. I had like three of them, and they're all just bouncing around my brain. Um, also, He's tomorrow off. night, uh, I'm gonna mention it now. We're also gonna plug this tomorrow night. Um, the Preppy Pirate Outfitters presents Back Porch Sipping Pro Wrestling Trivia Night Online Friday. We shared all the info on our Facebook page. Scott Demore shared it on the Twitter box. Johnny Swinger is going to be a special guest. You can win prizes. It's Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have swing? we're going to have one of the uh, we're going to have one, swing? we're going to have one of the swing? organizers here, and possibly, possibly a guest with him from the possibly. event. We'll see. We're going to try to get the guest out. All right, great. Try to pay him a you. couple pizzles and rizzats. Oh. Pizzles oh, and rizzats. All there, was a, there was a comment in the thing earlier talking about free STP T-shirts. No, there are not free Smash This Podcast T-shirts. Free. J-Bone's me. giving out free Smash This Podcast T-shirts to all the lucky listeners. No. <laughs> no, I am selling Smash This Podcast T-shirts. If you want to help support free. Free. the podcast. <laughs> Free T-shirts from J Bone. The link Merry is Christmas. on the. It's like Oprah. You get a shirt. You get a shirt, and you get a shirt. Poor guy. We just ran him out of three hundred dollars here. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> I love you. All guys. right. It's on 
the uh, Facebook and the link is also in the description on the the Twitter and the uh, whatever you know. How about this? How, how why don't you leave a comment from Smash in the comments of this video right here? You guys can get it very easily from the, the bottom of this video. Call right? in the next five minutes and get a thong with J Bone's face on it. <laughs> Call in the next three minutes and get one used. Jesus Christ! All right, well that that's our cue to exit, guys. Thanks for being here for episode twenty one. We appreciate it. NWA TNA number 22 is next. Get your Impact Plus free trial. Sign up and watch with us. Episode 22. It's going to be a good one, guys. So we will talk. Jesus Christ, what is happening there? All right, guys. We will talk to you guys tomorrow night. Watch Party TNI show on Twitch right, at, right after that, right over here for the full review. Rebellion tomorrow night at Impact Wrestling. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you tomorrow night right here. Good night, everybody. Let's make some noise.